Now on to the dinosaur of the day, Foster Rovinator, and that name means Foster's Hunter. So as you can guess, somebody named Foster <laughs> made some paleontologists feel warm inside. In this case, it was another paleontologist. Actually, it was John R. Foster. This name of the dinosaur was a tribute to the American paleontologist. Venator means hunter. So there you go, Foster's hunter. Anyway, Foster Rovinator lived in the late Jurassic in the Morrison Formation of what is now Wyoming, and Charles Marsh and Arthur Lakes collected the bones in 1879 among crocodile teeth, turtle shells, and a juvenile Allosaurus and Torvosaurus. There's only one species, Fosterovenator churai, and that species wasn't named until 2014. So again, the genus is named after the American paleontologist John Foster, and it's to recognize his, quote, contributions to the study of the vertebrate fauna of the Morrison Formation, according to the paper New Data on Small Theropod Dinosaurs from the Upper Jurassic Morrison Formation of Como Bluff, Wyoming, USA. <laughs> And the name Churai comes from another American paleontologist, Daniel J. Chermu. The holotype was found at Como Bluff in Wyoming in Reed's Quarry, and it included a tibia and ankle bones that were fused together. It was probably of a juvenile, which makes it harder to determine how the dinosaur looked, since it probably looked different as an adult. The end of the tibia resembles the right tibia of a small theropod found in the Morrison Formation, originally thought to be a Laphrosaurus which was named by Truer in 2001. But in 2008, Carano and Sampson said it may more resemble Tendigaru than Elaphrosaurus, but there needs to be more complete specimens before we know for sure. So Foster Rovinator is similar in shape to Elaphrosaurus, but also similar to Tendigaru. It's too fragmentary to know exactly how large Foster Rovinator was. There was a second specimen found that had a right fibula of a larger individual. The fibula is 10.8 inches or 27.5 centimeters long. And what's interesting about Foster Rovinator is it shows there may have been more diversity of smaller theropods, which they lived among Allosaurus, Torvosaurus, and Ceratosaurus. And fossils of small and juvenile theropods are rare in the Morrison Formation. They were probably eaten. Makes sense. <laughs> And they probably hunted small prey, but they may have also scavenged on larger animals, such as sauropods, whatever leftovers the larger predators didn't want. And Foster Rovinator is a ceratosaurid, but it's more closely related to Elaphrosaurus than to Ceratosaurus. Ceratosauridae is a family of theropods, and the type genus is Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurids lived in the Jurassic and Cretaceous, and we talked about this family in depth in episode 45 with Ceratosaurus. But again, they lived in North America, Tanzania, and Portugal. Charles Marsh named the family Ceratosauridae for the type species in 1884. And this family has two types of teeth, one with longitudinal ridges and one with smooth enamel. They probably competed with Allosaurus for food, at least the North American ones. 